Today is the last official day of summer. We know we have to savor what's going to be a really nice week. Yeah, the whole week is, is phenomenal. I mean, we, we've saved up uh, some of this great weather here for this uh, stretch of uh, time here that uh, is typically a, a, a point of transition when we start seeing more fall weather. But now we are enjoying fall colors, but with a little uh, summer like flair with our weather. Here's some video from earlier today. Some sumac uh, coloring there. They're very rusty reds of the trees. Nice bright and gold and the sky today contrasting nicely with that bright shade of blue. It's a beautiful day outside. A little breezy, but definitely another warm one on tap as we look at a time lapse. We had some clouds early on, even on the radar. A couple sprinkles all about the map. They have moved out. Skies have cleared. This is this, from this morning with our Lewis Tadano camera from the studio. Clear skies now, bright blue skies, some sunshine. Temperatures on our way to the upper 70s, perhaps even as warm as 80 in some spots around Austin. That's the situation there. Uh, just about 70 already this hour in Austin. 25 mile per hour gust in Rochester, 23 miles per hour in Dodge Center, Mason City 23. So not quite as windy as yesterday's 35 to 40 mile per hour gust, but certainly a breezy day and uh, something that helps us warm quickly in, in the, the situation. Part of the year where we're starting to see the, the daylight length shorten, but we're making the most out of it by having this warm air blowing in and all that abundant sunshine. 71 in Rochester, it's 70 in Austin now. Charles City 70 and Winona. Room temperature 72, dew point only 53, so very comfortable out there. Uh, 17 mile per hour breezing and gusting a little higher here in Rochester. Air pressure is steady, 30.18. Breezy warm today. Tomorrow not quite as breezy, but maybe even warmer. And the rest of the week looking pretty warm overall. Weekend showers, that'll be our best chance of rain perhaps at part of the weekend, but otherwise not that many rain chances ahead. Certainly nothing uh, all that widespread. We have spotty sprinkles showing up. This is not reaching the ground though, running into some fairly dry air at surface level, but there's a weak front to our northwest that's going to stay mainly northwest of us. The storm system is going to pull away to the north. We're going to stay in the warm sector of the system through today and tomorrow, but that system may generate a couple of spotty showers. We'll track those on high res future track for the rest of today. Sprinkle, maybe a brief shower. It cannot be completely ruled out, so there is a slight chance of a shower, perhaps just enough instability for a late afternoon isolated thunderstorm until just after sunset, uh, the late evening hours, and then we'll see things clear off again later on and temperatures right around 60 overnight. So spotty showers possible, otherwise a lot of warm sun and that south breeze will be with us all the way into the evening hours, the, then subsiding to run that 10 to 15 mile per hour range and things remain mild to the night. So upper 70s today, right back there tomorrow. In fact, maybe even up to 80 tomorrow for our Tuesday with the hint of a south breeze and even more sunshine. Future track looking at that one system that's going to be pulling away to the north and east. Spotty showers perhaps this afternoon into the early evening. A few fair weather clouds as well, but still a fair amount of sunshine and a gusty south breeze. Less of that wind tonight into tomorrow. And looking ahead at Tuesday, more sun than clouds. Uh, winds more like 10 to 15 miles per hour, not 25, so not as breezy. Next storm system for the west comes in Wednesday, generates a little more of a breeze, so maybe 20 to 25 mile per hour winds, but still a lot of sunshine, and it'll help us warm into the upper 70s again. And don't forget tomorrow, 830 is the time for us to circle on the calendar because the sun's rays at that point will be right at the equator. That means it's the fall equinox, most direct rays right at the equator. And from then on, they will be going south toward the Tropic of Capricorn. And of course, that will be in December, but uh, when they get there, but 830 tomorrow, fall officially starts. That's astronomical summer, but in meteorological summer since the start of the month with more of that fall weather at times. And that's kind of the way we organize things here. Spotty showers a couple of times this week. Best chance of rain overall Saturday afternoon and evening temperature wise. Otherwise looking fantastic. And even the weekend when we cool down a couple degrees, nothing we can't handle. 60s and 70s there. Si 78 today in Plainview, 77 in Austin. Perhaps a rubble of thunder or a shower late in the day. Kind of a small chance of that. Breezy and warm otherwise. 77 here in Rochester. Uh, about 10 degrees above average or 8 to 10 degrees above that. Uh, 57 tonight, part the cloudy skies and then a light south breeze tomorrow. 80 for your Tuesday. 7 day forecast a little breezier for Wednesday. A couple showers very early Thursday, very late Wednesday night. And the best chance of rain overall coming up later on Saturday. Thank you very much, Ted. We do want to update our breaking news. We've been watching the Minnesota.